Hello friends, it's Prajul Pathak this side and you are watching my YouTube channel PyGuru. Friends, today I am here with my new project and in this project we will be learning how can we find out our top restaurants in my city using Python. Okay, so see here I am with my script and let me first run it and show you what this script will do. So let's just run it and it should ask me for the city which I am currently in or whatever city you can enter any city. Okay, and enter your city. Uh, let me pass. I am currently in Varanasi, so I will type Varanasi here and let's press enter and it should show me the top restaurants of Varanasi. Okay, so let it get executed and there are some data, so that's why it's saying not responding, but don't worry. Okay, let's see here uh, we have the output and it has listed 27 restaurants, top restaurants of my city. Okay, uh, here is the name of the store, here is the food which is famous for, there are, there are some more data here but it's not showing because I am using pandas and if you have more columns in, in pandas it generally did not say uh, so all of them okay so but you can uh, also this script has generated a csv file if I go in this folder uh, where I have sa saved my script see here there's a uh, csv file generated which saying a top restaurant is one and see okay so let me just open it and it should show me the same output okay uh, you can open the csv file in ms excel okay uh, see here it's the name of restaurant uh, here is the particular rating of the restaurant here is the address of the restaurant and here the food with this restaurant is famous for okay so this is the csv file that will be generated whenever we run this script okay so let me just close this and let's again run the uh, this our script uh, let's go here and again run this okay and this time I will enter some other city and you will see uh, one more CSV file will be generated in the same folder uh, let's this time enter Kanpur and it will show me the top restaurants of Kanpur okay so let it get executed but mm -hmm. okay so see this time it has listed 26 restaurants top restaurants of Kanpur okay and in the folder a new CSV file will be generated top restaurants in Kanpur okay so this is how the whole project will be working and for this for listing uh, restaurants uh, we are using the website of Zomato okay? so this is a web scraping project so one more thing we'll be building it from scratch so just join me and let's start coding okay just remove this thing let's remove this thing and from this file I need one thing so I have to copy this just copy it uh, in the uh, I'll be giving the uh, uh, this whole project in zip format in the video description you can download it okay so if you have any error of e or you are not uh, feeling to type the this whole thing so you can just uh, run that uh, script from the zip folder okay let's just copy it and close this we do not need uh, this anymore uh, open a new file and I'll be saving it in some other folder uh, let's go to scripts Pi Guru and test projects okay let's create another file here you can give it any name here restaurants.py and yep this is the file and in this file we'll be building this project from scratch uh, see there are three libraries that we are going to need the request library then beautiful so four library then pandas library okay uh, now they are very easy to install just open your command prompt and type pip install request pip install beautiful so 4 and pip install pandas okay if you have any uh, doubt uh, regarding the spelling i have given the same command in the video description you can check it and now let's visit uh, first let me paste the thing okay this is the uh, link that we have copied just let me just paste it now let's visit the website of zomato so just type zomato here and it said open the uh, zomato.com open this and currently uh, I recently searched about Kanpur so it's uh, showing the top restaurants of Kanpur okay uh, select trending this week from here just select it and after selecting it we should see the top restaurants of Kanpur uh, listed okay see here uh, these are the few famous restaurants of Kanpur new pizza delighto which is in case of puram kanpur and it's famous for pizza here it is the racing rating for this particular restaurant then we have a, another restaurant then we have another restaurant there should be some 26 restaurants because we know that uh, python listed 26 okay so what we have to do we have to extract this data of each restaurant and save it in a csv file okay so this is the whole project and one more thing notice one more thing let's just copy this link of this particular web page paste it here 
ओके एंड दिस टाइम लेट्स सर्च फॉर वाराणसी हियर वाराणसी ओके जस्ट प्रेस एंटर आफ्टर सर्चिंग फॉर वाराणसी एंड नो 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 इट्स ओपन सम अनदर वेब पेज बट वी नीड व्हाट वेब पेज टॉप डैश रेस्टोरेंट्स ओके सो नो प्रॉब्लम यू जस्ट एडिट दिस लिंक यूआरएल अ लिटिल टाइप टॉप डैश हियर ओके एंड इट शुड ओपन द टॉप रेस्टोरेंट्स वेब पेज एंड सी दिस टाइम इट्स शोइंग द टॉप रेस्टोरेंट्स ऑफ वाराणसी ओके लेट्स अगेन जस्ट कॉपी दिस यू आर एल आई नीड दिस यू आर एल एंड पेस्ट इट हियर ओके सो यू कैन सी सम सिमिलरिटी बिटवीन दम ओके सी द यू आर एल ऑफ दिस वेबसाइट अप टिल हियर इज सेम इन दिस यू आर एल टू एंड द यू आर एल हियर इज सेम इन दिस यू आर एल टू ओके वट्स डिफरेंट इन दिस टू यू आर एल द नेम ऑफ द सिटी ओके दिस इज अ गुड साइन फॉर एस यूजिंग दिस यू कैन आस्क द यूजर टू एंटर द सिटी एंड जस्ट पेस्ट और यू कैन से जस्ट कैन कंटिन्यूट द सिटी इन दिस होल यू आर एल ओके सो लेट्स सी हाउ कैन यू डू दिस सिंपली लेट्स क्रिएट अ वेरिएबल सिटी विच विल आस्क द यूजर टू एंटर दियर सिटी इनपुट एंटर योर सिटी ओके एंड वट यू डू लेट मीन जस्ट क्रिएट अनदर वेरिएबल यू आर एल and copy up to this control c paste it here okay and plus c uh, in the place of kanpur we are just concatenating the city variable plus just let's just copy uh, this thing up till here and paste it here okay this will do the work and we do not need this thing anymore and let's try running this uh, after this print url so we can see if we are getting the correct url or not enter your city okay and let me just enter kanpur and it should show me the url for the kanpur okay so https www.zomato.com kanpur slash top restaurants okay and similarly see this is the same url like here instead of kanpur it's varanasi here okay so this is the whole thing that we have to do we have currently identified how can we send particular url okay now see to visit this website we need a library called the request library so we have to import the request library first how can we import it simply import request okay now this uh, request library takes uh, the url of the particular website and in response it will give some data from the website so how can we visit this response sorry let's create a variable response and inside the request module or library we have a function get function this get function takes the url of the particular website and visits this website and in response this website will give us particular data uh, here it will give me the uh, top restaurants or the html file of this web page okay what i am saying i'll be explaining it in it in a minute and let's print restaurants uh, sorry response here let's see if it's working or not enter your city let's say kanpur and response of 403 see uh, in http a uh, 200 response means good but see here we are getting a response of 403 why is this because the zomato the website of zomato is thinking that you are some kind of bot okay and it's not letting us visit its website and to visit this website see here i have a link you have to visit this link okay uh, let me just copy it and paste it in my url what in this url will do it will show us the user agent for our web, web browser what is a user agent see what happens when you open a web browser you type the name or the url of the website and it visit this website request that website and in response that website give us some data okay but uh, since we are not visiting this particular website of zomato using any browser this web, uh, this uh, website of zomato is thinking that we are not any Uh, legitimate person or browser uh, we are just kind of bot okay so that's why it's not letting us visit this website okay now to solve this problem what you have to do you have to find a user agent a user agent uh, every time you visit any website from a uh, browser the browser also sent your user agent value to that particular website and it, the website thinks that you are visiting our website from a browser okay what you have to do just visit this website okay i will be giving it its link in the video description you have to visit it just copy this thing you, your user agent it you have to copy this thing just copy it from here uh, 
it's also showing our IP address but we do not need that thing okay what you have to do you have to create a variable header it's simply a dictionary okay and here you have to type the key will be user agent just type it like this user agent okay and its value will be the thing that we just copied okay just paste it here and now we have generated this user agent this user agent will uh, make the web, web, the website of Zomato think that this time we are visiting the website so uh, its website using the using some browser okay now you have to pass this user agent to how can you pass it simply here it's a parameter headers and inside headers with parameter you have to pass this dictionary that we have just created okay and let's again run this whole program and this time we should get a response of 200 if everything is fine we should get a response of 200 and we are if we are getting response of 200 it means that everything is fine okay now we can get C and we have getting we are getting the response of 200 okay so we are particularly uh, now we have faked uh, Zomato website that we are visiting uh, his website from a particular web browser okay so this is a good idea to find your user user agent and i have also given the link you can how you can find your user agent okay so now being said this uh, we have printed response okay so we are getting a response of 200 now if you just print response dot text it will show you the html file of this whole web page okay what is uh, i'm not going to print it because when I, if i print it the my sublime text tree will crash and I do not want to simply crash it but I can show you what will the output will be uh, we do not need this website anymore okay since we have particular find the user in uh, just right click on this website and select view page source sorry <coughs> let me just get connected to the internet okay and this will be the output that you will uh, that uh, sorry right click anywhere on this website select view page source okay and this uh, the thing that will be appear on uh, the, here will be the same thing that will appear when you will print response dot text okay so you have to print response dot text to see what uh, output appears i'm not printing it but i can show you what will the output be this thing okay this whole thing will be the output and see it's a very large file uh, html file for the particular website and this is the thing that is uh, that will be uh, printed when we will print response text. Okay, so see what we are going to do. We are going to simply create a variable HTML, and here we are just uh, printing the uh, storing the response text. Okay, we know that response text is uh, giving us the HTML file of this website, and we are storing it in a variable HTML. Okay, now what we are see this is a very large file. HTML, this HTML file is very large, and we do not need all of this data. Okay, all we need is to the name of this website uh, sorry the name of this store the address of this store the food which is famous for the uh, this it's racing okay rating then we will move to the next store its name address food and rating we will move to the next store its name address food rating okay so this thing we have to extract not uh, this HTML file is storing all the data so we do not need all this so to extract particular data from this whole HTML file we need another library that is the beautiful soup 4 library okay so this time you have to uh, import the beautiful soup 4 library how can you import it simply type b yeah, from bs4 import beautiful soup okay this is a class that you have to import from this bs4 library now we have stored the uh, html file of this uh, website in the html variable so we have to create another object see this is a class beautiful soup is a class so we have to create an object of this class so just type beautiful soup okay you can give this soup any name uh, it's up to you i'm just giving it a soup it's simple uh, the first thing that you have to pass here is the html file of the web page see we have already stored it in this uh, the html file in html variable so i simply type html here and then you have to type a parser see a default parser is available to us in python that is html dot parser you can just pass it uh, there are some more parsers like like lxml okay but then you have to install lxml i am not installing it because it's available to us by default now what is a parser it's some bit of a advanced thing and you do not need to know what it does okay but basically this will help the beautiful soup to read this 
file in a HTML format okay it will make beautiful soup help that this thing is a HTML file and you have to read it like a HTML file okay now let's just print soup dot text sorry soup dot title and uh, what it should do it will uh, it should print the title of the web page so let's run this if everything goes fine we should get the title of the web page now title is top restaurants in Kanpur by Zomato okay so this is the title but see here we have a title tag too and if you want to remove this text what you have to do so you have to type simply type text <coughs> dot text okay this is a method that this that will remove the uh, title tags from our heading okay see now we are getting top restaurants in Kanpur by Zomato okay see uh, there are two text this dot text is available to us by the HTML uh, sorry request library but this dot text is available to us by beautiful soup for library okay so uh, whenever below I'll be using dot text to remove uh, tags you have to you just uh, make sure that it's available to us by beautiful soup for library okay now we have particularly find the website uh, title of this web page now what you have to do find the name of the restaurants okay now to do this you have to just right click on it uh, or visit the source page of this website go to line number six eight uh, six you know, four five I think it's six four five if, see here okay you have to visit the line number of six four five see on the left it's written the line number you have to visit the six four five line number then from here the code for this particular thing starts okay the code for these things starts okay so we have to visit this here now how do how did i know it select right click on it and select inspect okay and it should open something for us and it has opened the inspect element for us now here from here we can find uh, let me just drag it okay and i do not need this thing oops i just cancelled everything sorry my fault but don't worry again just right click on it and select inspect okay and it should open the same thing for us uh, you can see this is a uh, uh, what we say responsive website okay uh, just again right click on of the where the place of the uh, the place of which you want to get the code and you should get something like this okay see its class is called dash s dash it call dash l dash one by three if I uh, this if I select this second div you know the C on the left something else is getting highlighted then something else is getting highlighted like this okay so uh, I know this the rest of the content of this uh, page is written in uh, here web page source okay so what you have to do you have to simply <coughs> uh, visit this div and extract all the data of this div how can we do this simply let's create a variable another variable just print okay and again just print okay this will make some empty empty lines for us don't worry and what we are going to do we are going to create a variable top restaurant okay and what we have to write a particular code here soup dot find see we are working with the soup variable so soup dot find we have to find a particular div in the html a div is a like a section okay and see we have a class associated with this div what you have to do to extract particular div you have to uh, name that div see uh, we have a div and we we have a class associated with this see we have a class bb0 collection that grid called dash l dash 16 okay so we have to extract this div see on uh, putting my cursor on this div see on the left the name of the restaurants getting highlighted name of the all restaurants are getting uh, highlighted okay so we have to extract this thing uh, it's also in the web uh, view page source so let me just copy this see this is a class that we have to copy and paste it here okay so fine and let me remove the extra uh, this thing okay extra quotes and what we are going to do uh, let's create another variable list tr and see we have find a name of all the restaurants top restaurants and store it in a top restaurant variable now we have to extract the particular restaurant from them okay so from top rest see this is the variable to from top rest dot find all find all uh, this is a function 
uh, which returns a list. See, the find function will, uh, will only return you one value, but find all function will return you a list. See, we have uh, 26 restaurants in Kanpur because we have already run that program. Okay, again, we have to find all the all those DIVs whose classes. Uh, remember to use a underscore after the class because class is a thing in python so if you do not use this underscore a error will occur so you have to use underscore here okay now we have to find a particular class and the name of that class will be uh, what is the name of the class we have to see call s8 where was it uh, <laughs> I think this is the thing that we have to extract okay so let me just try by this just copy this thing okay call s8 copy it and paste it here and just put double quotes okay so we had we have did this thing and let's put a for loop now we know that this is a list so we can just put a for loop on it for i in uh, list tr uh, list tr print i dot text and let's see if we are getting some output or not and if we have we are getting some output it means everything is perfect we can move further uh, we have entered kanpur here and we should get some output so let it get printed don't worry uh -huh. Okay, see, we are getting some output, but the output is not formatted. We are getting the rating, the name, and the address, and the food which is famous for, for this restaurant is famous for. Then again, we are getting the rating, name, address, and the food which this for which this restaurant is famous for. But the problem is, this whole text is not formatted, okay? And if you do not put this dot text method, there will also be the tags, and we do not need that tags, okay? So, there is a basic idea, what? That we are getting the uh, name, uh, all the particular data that we need, okay? Now, what we have to do, we have to format this output. How can we do this? See, uh, instead of i, we are, I am just going to use tr. tr means a table row, okay? list tr means list all the table rows and tr means a particular row of that table okay so what i'm going to do first of all let's try to find out name of all the restaurants okay so how can we do simply tr dot find again see initially we we were in soup then from soup we moved to top restaurants then from from top restaurants we moved to list tr and then from list tr we moved to tr and then from tr we are going to uh, and uh, from tr we have to find the div particular div and then class associated with this we have to again move to this web page source and you have to find the particular div which is storing the name of the restaurants see uh, the name of the restaurants is stored in uh, where it is stored uh, it's this flavor of happiness okay actually this is the source code for Varanasi, okay and we have searched for Kanpur there for, don't worry what you have to do you have to restore uh, just find this thing copy this class name from here and paste it here uh, paste it here also dot text because this will remove all the tags and one more thing that you have to do is replace slash n c we are getting some new lines here we are getting a lot of new lines here so we have to remove this new line so we are simply we can remove how can we remove new lines we can use the uh, slash n uh, replace method Sl uh, replace method replace uh, the particular thing uh, with uh, this thing okay the first thing with second thing okay so this is the thing and let's try to run this program again and uh, instead of kanpur i have to search for varanasi because varanasi and it should give me the name of all the restaurants in what and see and see we are not getting any name so don't worry uh, why didn't we get any name restaurant title j black bold no wrap everything was fine but we didn't get anything okay and let's try printing the di this thing address and let's see if it works just come here copy this whole thing okay actually we haven't printed sorry my fault we haven't printed the uh, name variable okay that's why we are getting this problem don't worry uh, 
uh, we have to print the name okay and then we can get the name of this each uh, restaurant print name my fault sorry and then here we are going to extract the address of each uh, variable sorry each restaurant so tr dot find div uh, but the class will be different uh, we have to find the particular div which is storing the class okay so this is the div which is storing the address of the particular restaurant uh, lanka varanasi okay so in this time we have to just paste it here just remove it paste it here and print address okay and see so it should print me two things print add and just put a empty print here so it will give us a new line and everything should work fine this time and we should get some output uh, Varanasi Varanasi okay and let's see if we are getting some output top restaurants in Varanasi and okay this is a title and see we are getting some output here flavors of happiness Lanka Varanasi Apna family restaurant Lanka Varanasi crystal food mania Sundarpur Varanasi Nitin point and fast food Segra Varanasi we are getting everything but there is a problem with this thing okay see here send some few uh, you can say that tabs or spaces so we have to remove these spaces okay so now we have a basic idea that we will get this thing okay now we need to we have to extract two more things the ratings and the uh, food for the, which it is famous for okay so uh, let's first find the food how can we do this simply just you have to copy this uh, let me just copy it paste it here but the class will be different this time again uh, we have to find that particular div which is storing the food of that uh, which uh, see we have to find this div okay uh, see this div is storing the food which the restaurant is famous for so let me just copy it and paste it here and then we have to find the uh, rating so how can you find the rating let's create a rating variable and let me just copy it control c and just paste it okay now we have to find that particular div the class of the particular div which is storing the rating of these restaurants so the rating is stored here 3.5 and the class of this is we have to copy this thing see if if you have very last class you do not need to copy all this thing you can uh, fi just find the first thing see it's a uh, separated by space so i'm not going to copy this okay and it should work fine instead of this just paste it here and put a here okay and if you will just print name add food and rating you should get the name add food and rating of all the uh, restaurants okay now what we have to do we have to store these things in a list okay so let's create an empty variable first of all a restaurant uh, I'm quite confused with the spelling of restaurants okay so it's an empty list okay then we are going to create an another empty list address address okay then again we are going to create an empty list of cuisine which is food i think okay and then we are going to create another empty list of ratings okay and now what we are going to do instead of printing these things we are just going to append the name in this list add in the address list food in the cuisine list and the rating in the ratings list okay so how can we do this simply uh, restaurant dot append append and inside it we are going to pass this name variable so just pass it but see as i have shown you uh, we have some extra spaces here we have to remove this space how can we remove it simply we can use the strip method of strings okay this strip method remove all the spaces from the names okay and hope you know know this thing so you have to just do this thing control c paste it here paste it here paste it here uh, instead of restaurants it will be address instead of this restaurant it will be cuisine and instead of this restaurant it will be ratings and instead of name those uh, here will be add it will be food here and it will be ratings here and if everything goes fine and let's just come out of this loop and print the name of each restaurant or you can say the restaurants list okay and let's just run this and we should get the restaurants of each uh, sorry the name of each restaurant so Varanasi and we should get the name of each restaurants see list object has no attribute uh, strip okay so we are getting an error restaurants dot append uh, there's some error I think here uh, don't worry let's find it where's the error 
<laughs> response dot append name dot strip everything is fine then what is the error list object has no attribute strip where i use strip with the list object okay uh, actually my fault it's rating here okay sorry my fault it will be rating here and varanasi see all uh, errors come but don't get worry with errors 404 with zomato and this means that i'm not able to connect with internet so don't worry and let's again run this and this time it should work varanasi and we should get the name of each restaurant see we have perfectly stored name of each restaurant in this uh, restaurants list okay similarly if you print address it will uh, show you the address of each restaurant uh, cuisine will uh, tell you the food for which each restaurant is famous for and the rating will store the ratings for each restaurant okay so this is the whole thing now what we have to do we have to just create another uh, a table or store it in a csv file okay so for this we are going to import pandas import pandas as pd okay we have imported it now what we are going to do see now we know that each uh, each this list is storing some particular thing related to the restaurant okay so first of all let's create a header uh, it will be a list and first it will be restaurants and let me just capitalize see what is a, a header header stores the heading of each column see we know that in our excel file we have the column name and then below it the value of the each uh, row okay or column so ratings the second thing will be ratings <coughs> third thing will be address and the fourth thing will be uh, cuisine okay uh, i don't know if this spelling is correct you can check it and then we have to create indices which uh, i'll be creating in a minute and all rests uh, just do this all this and use the gif function inside the function you have to pass the restaurants and then ratings and then you have to pass uh, address and then you have to pass cuisine okay what gif function does it will store it will extract the first name uh, from this first value from this list first value from the rating list first value from the address list first value from the cuisine list send it to the pandas okay then it will extract the second value second value second value second value send it to pandas third value third value third value third value like this okay uh, this is how the function works now you have to create a data frame in pandas how to create a table you have to call the pd dot data frame uh, this data frame takes three arguments first of all the values so we have a values stored in this all list so i am just passing all lists see you have to use the list constructor on it okay and then we have to pass uh, columns and inside it we have to pass header that we have just created and let's try printing dt and we are nearly done with our uh, script and let's see if it works fine or not okay it should work very well so let me just run this and we should get the a particular table <coughs> If everything goes fine okay and we are nearly done mm, it's initially taking this much time actually the specifications of my system are not very high that's why it takes this much time but don't worry it should run fast on your system warranty and top restaurants in warranty see we are getting a, about to get a table mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The, there will be only one problem that I'll show you uh, see uh, we are getting the well uh, table uh, there's only one problem that this indices start from 0 instead of 1 we uh, if we want to start it from 1 then we have to add one more line and the line will be uh, here let's create another list indices okay and i for i in range 1 to len of uh, any any list here restaurants plus one what is this see we are using a list comprehension here we are saying that from in this li indices list you have to store numbers from one up to the length of this uh, restaurants list plus one see if there are 27 so we have to go from 1 to 27 plus 1 28 okay so one from 28 okay and now 28 will not be stored because we know that the range, range function does not uh, store the last value okay so let's again run this 
and this time everything should go fine oops actually I haven't did one thing uh, we have to mention it here so here we have another parameter index and inside this we have to just pass the indices okay let's again run this and I will pass Varanasi and this time everything should go work fine for us don't worry Ontario mm -hmm. city Varanasi it's oops there's a spelling mistake okay don't worry uh, if you enter some wrong city it will not show you okay any data so let's do it Vara Nasi top restaurant is Vara Nasi and after that we have to just save it to a uh, CSV file and it's damn easy so you don't have to worry see now everything is working fine all we have to do is top restaurant is Vara Nasi if we are getting everything and now we have to just store it in a uh, CSV file. How can you store it? dt dot to CSV is a function which helps us to store this table in a CSV format. And here you have to pass the name of your CSV file. You can give it any name. I'm saving it by top restaurant it in. Uh, let me just top restaurant. See here I'm going to use the city variable. The city variable is storing the name of the particular city. Okay. Dot CSV. Always remember a CSV file ends with dot CSV. And let's run again this and we should get a CSV file generated in the folder where I have saved the script. Okay. If everything goes fine. <sighs> okay. So we are nearly done. Uh, uh, means we are done with our project. And just see it. Vara. Now see. And press enter. Top restaurants in Varanasi. It should print it. It will also generate a CSV file in, in the folder. Let's see if we have actually we are uh, we were in the test projects folder. Okay, test projects. Here should be a file. See here we have a file generated here. So CSV file. Uh, let's see if everything goes fine, working fine. Actually, we not we do not need this Chrome browser anymore. So let me just cancel it. Oops close this chrome browser it's taking lots of my ram okay so see we have a csv file generated and this is the whole project <coughs> hope you like this project so if you are new to my channel like it subscribe it if you like this video leave a like or a dislike so i will meet you in some next video with some new project okay so this is it guys thank you see you 